I'm Mark Russ, criminal defense attorney at the Shouse Law Group. And in addition to California, there are only three other states that mandate lifetime sexual offender registration for all registrable offenses in that state. Those are South Carolina, Alabama, and Florida. But with Senate Bill 384, California is going to end the lifetime requirement for registration on lower level sex offenses. California's sex offender registry currently contains more than 105,000 people. That means one in 400 Californians are on it. And that includes 650 sex offenders with convictions from the 1940s and the 1950s, and 3,000 sex offenders with convictions from the 1960s and the 1970s. Starting on January 1st, 2018, California will have a three-tiered registry, and only the third tier will require lifetime registration. Tier one is for the least serious class of offenders. That means people convicted of misdemeanors and nonviolent felonies like misdemeanor sexual battery, misdemeanor possession of child pornography, and indecent exposure. After 10 years on the registry, a tier one offender can petition the court to be removed from the registry. Right now, 65,000 people in the current sex offender registry will qualify as tier one. And this includes several LGBTQ people convicted for same-sex behavior that is no longer even criminalized. Tier 2 is for mid-level offenders convicted of serious or even violent sex offenses, including lewdness with a minor, oral copulation with a minor below 14 years of age, and non-forced sodomy with a minor under 14 years old. After 20 years on the registry, a Tier 2 offender can petition the court to be removed from the registry. 24,000 people in the current sex offender registry qualify as Tier 2. Tier 3 is for the people convicted of the most serious crimes, including rape, lewd act with a minor using force or fear, child sex trafficking, sex crimes against children 10 and younger, and repeated sex crimes. People in Tier 3 have to register as a sex offender for life. 8,200 people in the current sex offender registry qualify as tier three. Offenders can start petitioning to get off of the registry in the year 2021. But getting off the registry is not automatic. An offender in tier one or tier two must petition the court at the end of their registration period. And the DA's office can call for a hearing to oppose the petition and a court can decide to deny it. It's important to understand that if an offender on the registry gets convicted of some other crime during their waiting period, then the waiting period gets extended for the amount of time that the offender is incarcerated. If you or a loved one is currently on California's sex offender registry, then absolutely you should call the Shouse Law Group so that we can do an evaluation of your case and find out what you or your loved one is eligible for. It could be that you're eligible to be removed from the registry after year 2021 or soon after.